My name is Amane Takahashi. I am a fourth year undergraduate student at the Digital Aqua Lab of Shizuoka University. In this video, I will present the paper of Tō Dishless and his associates on the effect of food concentration on the reproductive capacity of the invasive freshwater copepod, Actodiaptomus dorsalis, in the Philippines. Copepods are part of the zooplankton and play a salient role in aquatic ecosystems as a link between primary producers and higher trophic levels. The responses of their life traits and production to environmental changes affect the ecosystem dynamics. The relationship between food concentration and reproductive capacity has been reported for many copepods. Previous studies have shown that food concentration affects egg production, clutch emergence, and hatching success. However, most of these studies focused on temperate copepods and there were little data on tropical species. In addition, studies on Philippine lakes mainly focused on aquaculture development and there were few studies on trophic ecology. Data on those lakes were available, such as evaluations of their eutrophic conditions and descriptions of their phytoplankton communities, but no information on how these factors affect the reproduction of copepods. In this study, they investigated the effect of different food concentrations on the reproductive capacity of Arctodiaptomus dorsalis under food limited, abundant, and overabundant conditions. Arctodiaptomus dorsalis is an invasive freshwater colonoid copepod. It was originally found in Louisiana in the US, then extending through Central America and to the north of South America. Now it's found in 23 out of 32 lakes and the rivers in the Philippines. Aquaculture is thriving in the Philippines and it makes water bodies eutrophic. This copepod has a preference for eutrophic conditions. This study aimed to investigate whether Actodiaptomus dorsalis could have displaced the endemic species of the Philippines due to its preference for eutrophic waters. A mean of 20.67 adults and 73.33 napolia and copepodid stages were grown in three beakers containing sterile tap water and 1.5 times 10 to the fifth sales per milliliter of a suspension of the green alga for four weeks before the experiment. The temperature was kept constant at 30 degrees Celsius. The light dark cycle was a 12 hours light, 12 hours dark, and light intensity was 60 lux. The culture medium was replaced and molds and dead individuals were removed every two days. The Chlamydomonas used as food is a phytoplankton that lives in fresh water. It is present in several lakes in the Philippines and is a natural food source for Actodiaptomus dorsalis. Let's have a look at their experimental setup. The authors prepared four different concentrations. The food was same as stock cultures. The lowest concentration represent an oligotrophic condition and the other three represent different levels of eutrophic conditions. Male-female pairs were isolated from the beaker and placed in a tissue culture plate. Then five pairs were observed for each experimental food concentration. 
The spawning and the number of newly hatched Napoli were recorded every day for 12 days since the first clutch of eggs spawned. Dead males were replaced with live ones when never found. These are the parameters they observed. Hatching success is the percentage of successfully hatched Napoli from each clutch. Clutch size is the total number of eggs in a particular clutch produced by an ovigerous female. Interclutch duration is the time interval between the spawning of two consecutive clutches. Latency time is the number of days between the hatching of a clutch and the spawning of the next one. Egg production rate is the number of eggs produced by each female per day. Fecundity is the total number of eggs a female produced during the study period. Now, let's have a look at their results. Hatching success varied from 30.64% to 50.74%, and clutch size from 8.50 to 10.57 eggs per clutch. There were increasing trends with increasing food concentration for both parameters, but there was no significant difference between the food conditions. For interclutch duration and the latency time, only the three high concentrations were analyzed. At the lowest concentration, only one individual was able to produce X and was only able to do so twice. Interclutch duration and latency time both significantly decreased from 2.92 to 1.71 days and 1.58 to 0.71 days with increasing food concentration. The authors also only analyzed egg production rate at the three highest concentrations for the same reason mentioned earlier. This egg production rate increased from 3.83 to 7.54 eggs per day, and fecundity went from 3.4 to 59.2 eggs per female with increasing food concentration. The maximum total number of eggs laid by one individual was 104 in 9 clutches. Let's move on to the discussion. Actodiaptomus dorsalis produced more eggs per day at shorter intervals at higher food concentrations. This sharp increase in mean fecundity suggests that Outside maturation and subsequent egg production were positively affected by food concentration. A previous study by Elmore showed that Actodiaptomus dorsalis was not able to reproduce when food was not enough, and such a situation occurred at the lowest concentration in this study. This suggests that 4 times 10 cubed cells per milliliter is the approximate low limiting concentration for successful reproduction in this species. In addition, egg production requires a large amount of energy, and females may require more feeding time at the low food conditions to obtain enough energy for reproduction. The presence of Chlamydomonas in Philippine lakes such as Laguna de Bay, Lake Tal, and Lake Lanao has been well documented, and it is considered that this alga is available as a food source for Actodiaptomus dorsalis in these lakes. Therefore, in a laboratory, Chlamydomonas has been used as food for culture. However, it is thought that mixtures of different species of algae are better than only one species for a culture of copepod and have positive effects on growth and reproduction. Future studies should consider food quality because it can be a limiting factor in the reproduction of copepods 
and could affect the results of laboratory experiments. The lakes formerly occupied by Philippine endemic species have been replaced by Actodiapodomus dorsalis. It seems that eutrophication plays a role. There is no knowledge of the feeding and adaptations to eutrophication of endemic species, so no determination can be made, but there are two possibilities. One is that the increase in food density gave Actodiapodomus dorsalis an advantage over endemic species in terms of reproductive potential. The other is that eutrophication affected endemic species, allowing Actodiapodomus dorsalis to occupy vacated niches. In any case, Anthropogenic eutrophication of the Philippine water bodies is likely to provide the right food conditions for Actodiopodomus dorsalis to successfully establish populations and spread throughout the country. For further detail on this study, you can find the link to the paper in the description below. Also, if you want to contact the level head, all information are provided in the description.